In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can make a shadow command with Streamlabs Cloudbot. My name is Tree, and I make streaming support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. Before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8 pm Central European time. Twitch.tv slash free. If you have any questions, feel free to hop in and just ask them. I won't bite, I promise. So what we want to do is go to streamlabs.com and log in with our Twitch. What we're doing now is we go to the left here under feature we find something called Cloudbot. We click on that and then go to commands. Here in the top right we see add command, click on that and then begin grab a template called SO. Check out name over at URL they we're playing game. So what we can do is we can customize this however we want. We can also just leave it like this. But this is a target's name. So if you do SO, so shout out tree, this will transform in tree. If you would do shout out... <laughs> Somebody's hammering or something. If you would do shout out... Um... Really? <laughs> if you would do shout out rainbow, rainbow would be there. And then check over at URL, that will be so for me if you do shout out Truey, twitch.tv slash Truey. If you do rainbows, twitch.tv slash rainbow. It's probably an actual streamer, but I don't know them. <laughs> They're playing and then target game. This means the game category they have been streaming on last time they were live. So for me, that's probably Mario. <laughs> we can customize the rest of the text. Um, so give some love to, and then the name. Um, over at, I would leave that, I think. Uh, they were enjoying and then the game. So right now I, I customized it to uh, give some love to Tree over at twitch.tv slash Tree. They were enjoying Mario. That is something that you can change a little bit to make it a little bit more you or make it a little bit more custom, a little bit more unique, you know? Then here we have something called reply in chat. You want to 100% keep it this way, do not change this. This means that the bot will say this text in your chat and that's where you want it to be. Then we have permission to use everybody. No, 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 no. We want to set this on moderator only and streamer only. This way only moderators and streamers can shout out people. You do not want anybody to be able to shout out anybody. So make sure that this is only on moderators and streamers. And then we go to advanced just to check this out. But the cooldown and cost, I would leave that at zero. You can have a global cooldown just so if two of your mods try to shout out, that it doesn't instantly get two shoutouts out. But I won't worry too, too much about that in here. And then alias. So for example, if you do SO, we can make an alias, exclamation mark, shout out, and an edit. This way your moderators can use either exclamation mark SO or exclamation mark shout out for shoutouts. And then we just do confirm. Boom. What we want to make sure now is that this cloud bot is on, so it needs to be like this and not like this. If you have it like this, it's off, so turn it on. Okay, now we're gonna go to our own channel and then click on the chat. That's right here. What we want to do now is we type slash mom space stream labs and then press the enter button. Now, for me, stream labs is already a moderator, but if it's not for you, you need to make it one, just to avoid things that can go wrong. So what we do now is we're testing it by doing SO, and then uh, let's do my Dutch channel, Hootgemust. Give some love to Hootgemust over at twitch.tv slash Hootgemust. They were last enjoying just chatting. But that's that's how you make a shoutout command with Streamlabs Cloudbot. If you want to learn more about Streamlabs, I have a lot more tutorials about Streamlabs that will help you improve your stream. So hop into this playlist with me, and I will see you there. Mm-hmm. <laughs>